Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks, welcome back to On the Bench. Today I'm going to be starting a new series here on Sport Fishing on the Fly dedicated mainly to small streams and rivers. And I thought I'd start with one of the most prolific, if not the most prolific mayfly we have in North America, the Blue Winged Olive. Blue Winged Olive, uh, I think it has three life cycles a year, lasting four months each, and it can be found in any weather. It's one of the mayflies that you can find when it's snowing, raining, blowing, doesn't matter. I'm going to be going through all the different stages, the nymph larval stage, the emerger, and the dry in the various videos. Today I'm going to be starting with the nymph, so make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using a jig hook size 14 from Honic. It's an H400BL, one of their competition fly hooks. Very good hooks, nice and strong, good gape on them. For bead, I'm using a 764 uh, slotted tungsten bead. In the uh, When we were fishing the other day, I was actually using a silver bead on that fly, but I don't have any left, so I'm going to tie this in gold. And I prefer to have both colors. Uh, the other day when I was using it, it was uh, bright and sunny out. And sometimes that can make a difference when it comes to silver and gold beads. For thread, I'm using Classic Wax by Semperfly. And the color is Pale Olive. And it's uh, 12 aught. And I'm also using, it's I think it's 18 -0. Yeah, and it's a fluorescent red by Semperfly in, in the Classic Wax. And that's for the hot orange collar. If you don't have that fluorescent red, hot orange is just perfect for it. No problem. And for the body, I'm using Pertagon Body by Semperfly, and the color is translucent brown. For the tail, I'll be using Coke de Leon. If you don't have Coke de Leon, pheasant tail is fine. And then to coat the body, I'm using the Raid Zap Thin UV Resin. As well as for the, the wing case, I'll be using the Sally Hansen's Insta Dry in black, or you could use black UV resin. So, to start, I'm just going to start a jam knot right behind the bead. I'm just going to build a little thread down right here just to hold the bead in place so it's not spinning around. I want the slot at the top. And now I'm just going to bring it down and Taper it slightly. And then just bring your thread all the way to the, where the, if there was a barb on the hook, where that would be. And I'm just trying to, I use the thread tag to build a nice smooth underbody and without too many gaps. You don't want too many gaps in your fly. That's when the materials slide off. So it's always worth it to take the time. Next, I'm just going to take a little piece of Coke de Leon, and I only want to tie it about the length of the body, not very long. Um, you could totally use pheasant tail for this if you don't have Coke de Leon. I'm just checking the length. I'm just going to bring my thread back, and then I'm going to take a turn and go underneath the Coke de Leon, and that's just to hold it a little more secure. Keep those tails up. Then just bring your thread forward back to the bead. And just snip away the excess. I <laughs> can't get that one piece. There we go. I'm just building like a slight um, taper to the body. That should be good. Next, I'm going to take the Pertagon body. And um, what I found for this size for me works best is just to grab a very long piece. <laughs> and then I double it in half. So I've got two pieces. And then I take the two pieces and wrap them around my thread. So I actually end up with four pieces. And then I just bring them up in time on onto the thread. And at this point now, I'm just going to get my bobbin holder out of the way there. I'm just going to give my thread a little counterclockwise spin to flatten it out. You want to keep the Pertagon body as slim as possible so that it goes faster through the water column. 
sinks very quickly, these flies. Just bring my thread all the way back up, right to the bead. And now I'm just going to give it a little uh, like whip finish. And pull my thread out of the way. Now I'm just going to take my Pertagon body. And actually, before I wrap it up the hook, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of... Um, I've been using the brushable crazy glue for this. So any kind of head cement or a zap a gap or something. I'm just putting actually just a little dab on there, not much. Just to keep it a little stronger. Those fish were really strong that we were catching out in the Columbia, so they can you don't want him to rip rip apart your fly, <laughs> every fish. <laughs> Try and keep them as strong as he can. I'm just trying to build a nice body. Hopefully missing too many gaps here. Oh, dropped a piece. It's okay. I'm going to take my thread and tie it off. Just rolling it up so it's nice and close to the hook. Trying to keep the wraps right up next to that bead. That should be good. You go away and snip away your Pertagon body, and now I'm going to take in my whip finisher, give it a little whip finish, and then go ahead and uh, cut away your uh, olive thread. Next, I'm going to take my fluorescent red thread. Now, if you don't have this color by Samperfly, hot orange would be just fine because it's actually kind of an orangish sort of red thread. It glows really nicely under UV light. And I'm just trying to keep this collar as small as I can. It wasn't a large collar, just a little hot spot on the bottom. I'm actually going to go right into the whip finish now. And I'm going to give it two. Snip away the orange thread. Next, I've got the Raid Zap super thin, and I'm just going to give it a little coat brush here. I get these little brushes on um, like Amazon. That should be good. Take my Raid Zap light and give it a cure. That's good. And then next you can take um, your black UV resin or oops, I've got the Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Nail Polish so it dries like within with under 30 seconds. It dries pretty fast and that's what I prefer to use. I just put a blob down and I'm going to take a, I've been using like a toothpick to do this with. So I'm just going to take a toothpick. And I've got a little blob of the black uh, nail polish, and I'm just going to put it right on the on the back as a little wing, wing case, just like that. And that's it. That's my BWO blueing all of Pertagon. Did really well the other day. Thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. Conserve the waters and tight lines.